This video is brought to you by Langoni Cues. Hi pool players, it's the Terminator. Welcome back to another episode of Terminator Tips. As you can see, I'm on the road again. We're at the US Open here at Atlantic City. And in this episode, I have the top five reasons why your practice isn't paying off. Let's dive in right now. On number five, very simply, you're just not practicing enough. It could be you're having a normal day job, you come home after dinner, you're tired and you skip a few sessions or you're just laying on your bed and watching a lot of series. Yo, what? Yo. what? Hold on, hold on. What are you talking about? I don't need that practice. I'm sitting right here watching these shots. That's all I need for my game. Sorry, Slacker Niels, that's just not how it works. I'm talking here to the pool players that are serious about their game that want to improve, and I'm giving them some pointers. Have a close, serious look at yourself. If you want to improve, then you have to make some serious choices, especially nowadays with all the distractions that are running around, our phones, our TV series, everything's calling at us, and we have to make choices if we want to become better pool players that's just how it is. Yeah, but I've made that choice. I'm doing all right. Just let me watch all these shots. That's all I need. I don't, I don't need the pool table. It's fine. I tried, but he just doesn't want to listen. Let's focus on you instead. So have a good look at yourself. See what's eating your time and try to cut out a few more hours a day, a week where you can put in some quality practice. On four, we have the opposite side of the coin which is actually that you're overtraining. You're practicing too much and you're not resting enough. This can be a serious problem also because it can happen that you're preparing for an event and you wanna get everything fine-tuned, try all the drills, get as much time in and you're actually burning yourself out and that's not very good for your tournament because you're showing up and you have no more energy, you feel flat. That happened to all of us, also to me. And that's a big lesson we have to learn. In regular sports, there's a concept that's called supercompensation. And this is very good to know and very essential to realize also for your pool game, especially for those that like to practice hard. If you want to improve your fitness, your condition, your muscles, or in our case, our minds and our mental conditioning, we have to put in a certain amount of workload. We have to stretch that rubber band, but not so much that it's going to snap and then we have to recover a little bit. The rule is that three days is enough to recover all your systems, including your nervous system, and then the next time you will do a workload, you can handle more. So that's a good tip to take in account. You need work, but also rest to recover and actually be better. If you're always on 100% workload, workload, you're gonna burn yourself out, and that's not what we want for your game. So make sure you balance your training out with some nice quality relaxation time so you can recover and also take care of your nervous system. On three, a powerful, powerful concept, and this is expectations. This is a serious dream killer because it means that if you practice and you expect now that you've done the practice, that it has to show up in your match and your competition, right? That puts you in a passive mindset. You think to yourself, I've done all the work in practice, now I show up for the tournament and it's just gonna happen by itself because you've done it all, right? Wrong. We still have to focus and work our butts off in competition to get the potential result that we want, but it's all about process thinking, doing the right steps, but thinking that because you've practiced hard, now the result will come automatically that's a trap and that's one that we want to avoid for you. On number two, another big concept, you're practicing too many weaknesses in your game. You're going to be setting up a ton of shots this way that you're going to miss potentially a lot of times and that can cause you to get a dip in your confidence because it doesn't really feel good. There's nothing wrong with balancing it out, picking out a shot that you have trouble with, spending some time with that, 10, 15, 20 minutes on a single shot. There's nothing wrong with that. That's quality practice. But doing that over and over for the next shot and the next shot, 
that can lead to you harming your confidence. You have to be aware of this. We have to balance it out with training the stuff that we're good at, keeping that smooth, and then also training some single shots that we're having trouble with. This could be safeties, kicks, maybe your break, but don't only practice all these things at once in one day because that's gonna be troublesome. Then go out and test your game in challenge matches or tournaments or league nights. Get the feedback from those matches or tournaments and see how your game is doing and progressing and slowly but surely climb that ladder. Don't think you could cram it all in one day because that is a trap. And finally, on number one, the top reason why your practice isn't paying off is because you're sparring and playing too much and not practicing enough. You're coming into the pool room, finding a partner to hit some balls with, and that's basically what you do the rest of the day or evening. You're not working on certain areas of your game that need that desperate improvement. The trick is you need to test yourself, that is with a challenge game or tournament, Look at your game closely. What does it need? Always ask yourself, what do I need in my game? And then work on that. Work on it in a smart way. Work on it bit by bit. Take a kick shot. Take your break. Take your stroke. Work on that bit by bit. Let's say for half an hour in your practice session. Then work on some drills. Then perhaps go and spar with somebody. But first get a nice session in where you've worked on your game so you can build yourself up and win those matches that you want to win. Compare it to any other sport like golf, tennis, basketball. If you go to the practice range, you're not always just going to walk in and play 18 holes of golf. You're not going into the basketball court and only playing. You're going to always work on certain areas of your game and that's how you really build that muscle memory you condition your system and your mind to hit the shot, make the shot at the moment when it counts. So be smart about it. It's great to have fun in the pool room and bang the balls around with a potential partner. But also, if you're serious about getting better, you have to put in some individual time at the pool table and set up those shots that you need to work on. Okay, pool players, I really hope you enjoyed that insight so now you can practice better and smarter. Make sure you check out all the other great content on the channel. There's tips and lessons here uploaded weekly. And if you're interested in the mental side of the game, head over to terminatorcollege.com and check out all the courses that are waiting there for you. Take care and hit them good.